When we think about making a good impression on someone else, what probably comes to mind is highlighting our positives, our success stories, our strengths. This week, I want to suggest to you the best thing sometimes to highlight to someone else is actually your weaknesses. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw and welcome to this week's Meetology Minute. this week I want to explore something that psychologists at Harvard University discovered in the 1960s and named the Pratt Fall Effect. The idea that when we see someone make a mistake or perhaps admit a weakness, we actually like them more, we empathise, we connect with them. Two aspects to highlight here. First of all, the idea that when we see someone making a mistake, falling over, spilling coffee, um, trying to do something and perhaps not being perfect at it as an activity, we actually like them more. That's certainly been highlighted. Um, someone trips over, someone forgets their lines on a stage. I mean, have you ever been there? You sort of feel for them. You feel empathy for them. You want them to succeed. Likeability um, in that situation can actually be increased. I'm not saying make a mistake on purpose, but when you do, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The second aspect, aspect would be highlighting a weakness, subtly linked to the pratfall effect. The idea that um, in a job interview, the, the common question, give us a list of your strengths. Well, that's useful. Of course, you're going to highlight strength in a job interview. But what about your weaknesses? Have you ever considered that saying, to a, the answer to a question could be, no, do you know what? That's one thing I'm not so good at. That could actually be really useful. And specifically, I mentioned this in relation to job interviews and success in job interviews. Um, probably about a year ago, a specific study highlighted that being authentic, not being perfect, not saying, well, I can do all of this, is probably the way to go. Authenticity, mistakes. We like people as humans who are like us. And you, like me, like everyone there is on this planet, have made a mistake. So when we see other people doing it, when we see other people admitting their weakness, there can be a tendency for us to like them. In a world where we seem obsessed, obsessed with strengths and performance and success, sometimes a little vulnerability can be a really good thing. I'll be back in a week's time with some more meatology, the fascinating psychology powering exceptional people skills. See you in a week's time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.